Hey, welcome back to the print house, guys. I got a good video for you today. I, I get asked this question all the time. I mean, people really must struggle with this, and I don't know why. It's so simple. I see a lot of videos that talked about this, and they all do it not really the right way. Um, there's a lot less sophisticated way to print, remove, laminate, or just print, remove, period and put it back in and cut and I'm going to show you the easiest way the way I do it it works every time and you're just going to clear your conscience and this is not going to be a struggle for you anymore I swear I get asked this every week can you do a demo on printing laming and cutting well I'm not going to lam it today I'll do another video but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend I'm laminated so I'm going to print go through the steps on how to set up the print I'm going to remove it tell you what you have to do and then I'm gonna put it back in and I'm gonna cut it as if it was laminated and I'm gonna walk you guys through this um, every step of the way this should not be a struggle anymore so just save this video watch it because this will be the last video you'll need for uh, being 20 print and cut all right so right off the bat guys I'm gonna go ahead and just always start with fresh media detection here okay and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. When I set my media, I, I I keep it tight. I put a finger on here and then I roll it back. All I do is roll it back to the sensor, guys. The sensor that's right on that corner. You know where that's at. It's that, that hole that's right there. That's the sensor for the media edge detection, okay? That's what that does. Sorry if I'm moving the camera. So what I do is I set that up, pull it back, line up to there. All, when you're going to do a print cut, always start from this way I'm doing it. Don't start from, you know, cutting your sheet here and then starting a print cut. And I'm going to tell you why in a second, okay? So right now, what that does is it's all, always going to find that edge, a starting point, right? And the reason you want to do it like this is because when you print and then take it out and put it back in, you're going to do it exactly the same way. You're not going to have to line up those registration marks over the cutting strip. I see people doing that all the time, and I don't understand why they do that. There's, You don't have to do that. Um, if you start off the way I'm doing it, you're going to do it the same way. So if you don't, let me show you something here. If you start, if you start from just a cut media, your registration mark is going to be this close to the edge. It's never going to work. You will not be able to use that, okay? It is not going to work. Start it like this, okay? Fresh, ready to go. I'm going to bring the phone over to the computer, and I'm going to go through the steps. Hang tight. Okay, let me sit down on my computer. Let me show you guys. Okay, so I'm in VersaWorks, right? All right, here I go. So I'll go ahead, go to your job. In this case, I'm going to my son's... Uh, school sticker here it's it's going to be a little bit jumpy because i'm using a remote desktop on this one for the computer that actually runs it so i don't have to go to two different computers anyways okay so here's the print uh dialogue for the job setting on that exact print that we're going to do right now okay so go through the steps here top one get your media width all right i'm going to do as many as i can fit which is going to be probably four Okay, so four. I'm going to bring down the spacing a little. Well, and I'm going to put it back. And then I'm going to... I like to center. I like to center it on the media always. Okay, so now most of this stuff is irrelevant that I'm going to do. It's just the quality of the print and everything. So I'm just going to go do draft. I usually do pre-press. Um, dither is only if you're doing like, you know, black and white or, you know, you're doing uh, dithering you know, printing with dither. I mean, everyone, you know, you know what that is. It's just dots. Okay. So we're going to go right down to the cut controls. Okay. In cut controls, it, when you're going to print and then put it back in after lambing or just putting back in, do cut only. Okay. By doing all these steps, you're telling VersaWorks what you're going to do. All right. So on the, the dialog tick boxes here, the only one you really want to hit when you're going to Sorry, we're gonna do we're gonna back up. We're gonna do print. Why am I saying cut? We're printing first. So 
The only thing you want to do in this cut control tab is select print only, right? And then check the box for return to origin after print. It's very important. You need that, okay? Go up to crop marks. No marks, but you want to select the box for crop marks, okay? Entire area. It's going to be default on there. Now, you can also print some job property, which is kind of cool. If you print a lot of jobs and you put them aside and come back to them later, you can add stuff, file names, color, you know, all that stuff. So we're not doing it. Okay, so right now we're on no marks, crop marks, right? Just confirm, go back to your cutting menu for your cut controls. Print only, return to origin. That's it, guys. All this stuff here, the media type, it doesn't really matter. This is all your preference for printing. What type of media is you're printing on? That these profiles, it, irrelevant. Just I find better colors and different profile media types, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, for sake of this, we're just going to go ahead and just do prepress US and then print 720 by 720. Hit OK. Now you're done. Now right now I'm going to print it, and all it's going to do is print not cut, and then print those registration marks. So I'll, I'll hit print, and then I'm gonna pause and go to the machine. <clears throat> so it's printing. It started printing right away because it was already warmed up. So now see what it's doing? It's printing those uh, crop marks, registration marks, let's call them, not crop marks. It's doing a circle, a box, and then it's gonna do some small ones. Now let it let it do its thing right now, okay? So it's gonna print those, then it's gonna do your print, then it's gonna print another set in the back. And I'm gonna show you what I do. I'll go ahead and just, I'll let it go. All right, so it, it, what it likes to do is print the registration marks on the front edge, then it stops and goes back, and then it'll start your print. Why it does that, who knows? There might be a setting for that, but I haven't messed with it. So now it's gonna print my image. I can get a little closer if that makes anybody happy. You can see the marks now. You can't see the mark from this one because that glare. You can, you can see it now. So, All right, so now it's going to go ahead and print the actual image, right? This is going to be a little bit longer video, but guys, uh, everyone needs to see the way it's done here because I don't know why. I see a lot of videos where they line up those circles on the cutting strip and it, it's never going to be that straight on there you know what i mean it's not going to be straight by doing that so and not only that it just takes a little bit of eyeballing and you know it's pointless so the way i'm going to show you is it's going to be the only way you're going to want to do it from now on i guarantee it so now it's printing All right, I'll pause until that's almost done because that's just a waste of time here. But um, I, I could talk for a minute. You guys want to hear me talk? Whatever. Um, well, I'll tell you about the printing mode. So right now it's printing 720 by 720, and uh, a general the general profile media. This is uh, Oracle, and um, nothing special. It's just, just basically a 3.5 mil vinyl. So. Um, now you see how much space is in front now, your front edge to your marks, as opposed to, you know, that one, how far away that was. That's because we did a fresh media start, and that's the uh, default space before you print. And it, there's a reason for that, because VersaWorks, and when you're doing print and cut, knows it needs that space in front. There's a reason why. So if I were to stop this job and cut it and start again, that registration mark won't be right. So do it this way, like I told you, and you will have no issues, okay? Um, so I'll pause it. No, I won't pause it. I'll just let it go. So now it's going to finish up the print, and then it's going to do the back registration marks, right? And then it's going to be done. But before we cut it out, we're going to pull a little bit. We're going to get like three more inches off of the back because there's a back sensor, right? And also, you can cover that with tape also. But you also want to make sure your rollers are holding your media down, you know, having space between the, the uh, media 
and the print where the cut's going, otherwise you it'll fall out. So make sure you have at least three inches back there. Um, you know, more or less, a little bit more than what's on your front edge. So right now it's done with the print and it's gonna go back. Now it's gonna do a separate print for the registration mark. Why it does that, I don't know, but it's what it does. So see how it pulls it back? Now it's gonna put the back registration marks on there. I'll just leave it go. It's whatever. Now you'll see it does a really high pass on those so it does it faster. This light help. Yeah, maybe a little. You see how the, the marks are showing up there? All right. Let me turn that back on. We don't need it. So, let me back up too. So now it's going to print the rest of that mark. And it's going to finish up. I'm going to cut it out. But before I do, I'm going to pull a little bit out. I use that general uh, profile media for a lot of medias. I mean, I only use three different kinds, but... Um, if you use like, uh, the gloss, I forgot the name of it. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up when I get back over there. It puts too much ink on there. I don't like too much ink on there. Um, US and then that profile I like, I use for everything. I see how it went back. So when you selected that, uh, uh, option for, you know, the check boxes, it's telling it. You know what it's got to do when it goes back so you see how the the media mark sorry the registration mark is right at that edge don't cut that don't cut that or, or you won't be able to print or go back and pull so i'm going to go ahead and just release it and pull out three or four inches and then before i do that i'm going to turn it back on to lock it down because i'm just going to oops i'm just going to cut that off from there close this glass and then lift it back up and pull this out guys just pull it completely out all right i told you i'm going to walk you through this this is the sheet how it printed right this is this is exactly how it printed okay so here's what we're going to do is the clamp is up now you're going to pretend i put it on the table and i land it because it really doesn't matter for this demo now I'm just going to slide it back in through the front. If you're crafty, like, like I am not, you can get it back through there from the front just by kind of wiggling a little bit. If you got to go inside to push it down, do it. Okay. Now what you want to do is get it center back on that ruler. Okay. So remember when I was telling you, you don't have to uh, line up those registration marks to the cutting strip, you don't. You just don't have to. Now, if, you, if you're if you standing in front of your machine, you see your uh, the, the white edge there? You see that? I put it right where I could see the edge, and it's pretty even all the way across, right on the edge, because it's right on that sensor, okay? That's it. So now I know it's pretty straight. So I'm going to go ahead and clamp it. So now what you're doing is, because in the beginning, you created a fresh uh, media start. Now you're going to create a fresh media start when you're doing your registration cut, right? So doesn't it make sense to do it the same way? You don't have to sit there and fiddle around with lining up those registration marks to, uh, to that cutting strip. All right, so now we're going to go back in the job, guys, okay? All right, let me bring it over on the screen. All right, so now what you're going to do is, instead of go, now you're going to go, just go right back to, you don't have to change anything else here. You can do media width, uh, doesn't matter, okay? You don't have to change anything except the cut controls. Now you're going to go to cut, okay? Can you see that? Is it washed out? Did I mess with my, uh, 
There we go. It's because I got my hand on the screen, guys. Sorry. So I'll go back to your cut controls. I'm using my phone because I'm trying to make this one video, not separate. So um, now for cut control, you're only going to select in the drop down cut only, right? And then select your box for return. And then now you want to set your cutting condition settings. Now, because I'm only cutting the vinyl, no lamb, I'm going to keep my setting. I usually cut at 60. So I'm going to make sure that's at 60 here, right? The speed, if I got some intricate cuts, I slow it down. I'll slow it down to 10. You don't, if you want to do a multiple passes, sometimes with thick, like clear lamb, sometimes you want to go two passes. If you get the right blade, you, you can get away with not doing that, but you, you know, you got to teach that on yourself. Okay, so that's it. So, you know, make sure your blade offset's the same from factory, whatever blades you're using, okay? All right, so now that's it. We're done. We just hit okay, and now we just hit print again. And what that's going to do, it's going to tell the machine to start hunting for the cut marks. Let me just run over here. All right, let me uh, let me pull it up. Now you see where the marks are? It's basically now using the same position when you started. So I'm going to leave this on. And I'm going to go hit print, and it's going to cut. And see it looking for the registration mark? You found the right one already. Now it's looking for the left one. Now it's going to go to the back one. Now the right one on the back. That's it, guys. So this is the right way to do it. There it goes. It's starting to cut. There's no... I don't understand why these people use that the registration to line up to that cutting strip. I've seen it in a few videos. I really don't know why. But that's not really the correct way to do it. Well, if it, if it works, it's it's correct. I guess if it works, it works. But for for a beginner and everything else, this is the best way to do it. Like I said, you line it up to that sensor. It's going to adjust the media where it needs to be. And then when you put it back through, it's going to do the exact same thing. So you have exact starting points. And there's no trying to line up the registration mark on the cutting strip. Do you get what I'm saying? There's no reason to do that. Like, I don't understand that. But always start with a fresh... Uh, sizing you know with the clamp before you print and cut separate with the lamp um like i said if you just cut from here it's not going to work you're going to waste it just remember that okay that's the important part of it so as you can see it's cutting out the letters remember this is 10 i, I put it at 10 for the cutting so So that's it. I'm going to cut the video because it's, it's our, I did, I finished what I was supposed to, but this should put an end to the problems with print and cut and what you got to do. I, this is, it's very simple. The key point is starting off with a fresh media, you know, size by using the clamp and the same thing for putting it back in. There's no special spot. You got to put the registration mark. You just line up that edge again, the same way you did on that, to where that sensor is around, along that bar and you're fine. So <coughs> Excuse me. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and uh, hope the hopefully all those people that question me every week that ask me about doing a video. I hope this does it for you, because besides this, the other struggle is creating the cut lines. And I got a video for that too. Actually, I did that video like two months ago, and I just haven't updated, up, uploaded it. Maybe I'll just do a new one and show. Uh, you know, the process of setting up color. Well, I did one for, uh, in Flexi, and I I did it in Crawl, but I'll redo it. Make it easy with, like, one video or something like that. <coughs> so I'm just going to let it finish now. There's multiple cuts on here because there's print, uh, cut contours on the print, and then some letters. But it's just follow what I did on the screen in here, and every time you're going to be fine. 
and you'll, you'll, you'll see if you look in the back, sometimes you may have enough, you, you may be able to cut it in the back. You might not have to pull it out some, but I, sometimes I do that with the lamb just to make sure there's extra. But see how it beep? So w when you hear that beep, it's because it, the end of the media hit that sensor. So that's it. All you got to do is just take it out. That's it. And you can see the cut lines. Yeah, there you go. So that's the way to cut. Print, cut, and lamb, guys. That's the proper way with the BN20. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification. And again, if you want, you guys want to join my membership below, um, it helps me out. I appreciate it. Use the links below. Any of my affiliate links, all that stuff helps. Um, I just passed up officially two years like a week ago, and I'm pretty excited about it. So, um, hey, as always, see you in the next one.